Hi guys, it's Tammy. It's really late for me to be doing a live, but when you have a last minute special request for Father's Day that requires to be personalized with a little one's hands, you need to do what you can do. So I'm gonna turn the, my phone down so you can see that we're going to be doing Daddy's Grill Tray, only this one's gonna say Papa's Grill Tray. And I'm gonna be showing you how I do the barbecue and some of the lettering but we're gonna save those cute little handprints or those flames to be added by the sweet young lady that's going to be giving this to her papa for Father's Day. When you see me, please pop on and say hi. I would love to know that you are here. It helps me know that I'm reaching someone and uh, it just really helps all around. I'm gonna try to watch on my iPad to see you pop on. Um, we'll see how this all goes. Okay, I'm gonna turn you down. I'm gonna turn you me upside down first so it's right side up for you and we'll turn it this way there pop school tray okay so this is an 18 inch round i did the original one on a 24 inch round so i needed to kind of shrink this down a little bit so the proportions might not be exact but it'll be just fine so I've got, I put my pattern on with some graphite paper. And hey, if when you watch this, you really like it, let me know and I can go ahead and send you the tracer, just say a uh, grill tray and we'll get a tracer out probably in the morning. I can get that uploaded. All right, so we're gonna start by painting the grill part and she would like this one to be blue. So I grabbed a blue, this is primary blue. We'll see how that covers. If it doesn't cover well, we'll grab another blue. Um, the Royal Navy might be a little better, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started here. I'm just gonna base coat water. The grill, I'll probably take a couple coats. And even though I put a pattern on, I may be adjusting it slightly. So whenever I transfer patterns, I try to transfer as few lines as I possibly have to, and I try to do it as lightly as I can so I'm not having to cover up too many lines. I did do this with black graphite, but another option for transferring patterns is simply to use the pattern and just scribble on the back of it with some regular pencil, just regular graphite pencil, and then you can use that to transfer too. And sometimes it's a little easier to erase those marks than it is graphite. So nothing fancy here. I'm just kind of applying some color. It will need more than one coat. I'm just gonna get the shape of my grill in here first. Oops. It was a hot one where I live today. I live in Northern Illinois, as many of you know. And it was just good and summer warm today. But my poor, poor plants, they took a beating. So they all got to get some extra love and water when we got home tonight. All right, so all I've done lay in my first color for my grill. This kind of looks like a Weber grill to me. Oh, hush, I'm not even seeing me pop up. How fun is that? Not fun. All right. Well, if you do pop on and say hi, know that I will come back and check comments later. Should this ever pop up? <laughs> I'm going to make my grill just a little fatter on this side. Does say I'm live. Let's hope I am. Facebook's been kind of funny lately. Works better if I actually do this in an event, but I didn't really have the time or inclination to get that set up at 8.30 at night on a <laughs> Thursday night. We got to attend our first outdoor summer concert last night and it was so so nice to be out and about and uh, sitting with people and hearing the music that is one of our family's
big thrills each summer. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute while I'm, so I'm not just picking it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and while it's drying a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my, oops, legs with some black paint. Sure I am. I can just make this work. There we go. All right, so I'm just grab a little smaller brush. Um, about an eight, some black paint. I'm just going to do the legs of my grill. There's one this way, there's one on this side. I honestly have not thought too much about Father's Day yet. I should be. Um, but somehow it hasn't hit high priority. It must not be the last minute yet for me. Got my legs. I should have four legs, but one of them's hidden behind this front leg and back. And we're at got leg, leg, leg. Oh, I need to put the little caps on them. We'll come back with the blue in just a second and do that. Okay, rinse that. Oh, we've got the, the bracing pieces here. And we will go ahead. There's ones that come back from on this angle. I like using a brush with, if I can, on something like this. That way it's, they tend to stay a little more <laughs> um, symmetrical. And then let's go across. Go here. There. And here to there. Oops, a little crooked. I'm just going to straighten it out as we go. Might need to get a little wider to make it about the same on each side. All right, so we have legs. Oh, I do I finally get to see if there's a couple of you watching. Thank you so, so much. Oops, I almost mixed, put that in my wine. It is a Flamingo wine glass night. And I will give a shout out to my friend Tiffany who does um, Scout and Cellar Wines. This Dove Hunt, Dove Hunt Dog Rosé wine is quite lovely. Great for a summer evening like tonight. All right, so we've got our first coat there. I'm gonna come back with this blue. And again, this is just the primary blue. You can pick out any color you wanted for your barbecue pot. Need a little more paint. Let's 
second coat on this here. I think the flames on this are just so cute that you can do with the kids' handprints. Hey, and if you don't have kids, what about doing it with dog prints? That would be really cute too. Okay, I've got my coat here. A little darker back in this area. All right, now while I have that blue still in my brush, I'm going to pick up just a little bit on the corner of my brush. I'm going to pick a spot on my plate, and I'm just going to push it down in the same spot a couple times. And that way I can give us a little bit of shading. I'm just going to kind of pity pat it all the way around the edge of where the inside of the kettle is. I'm gonna do that again. I've still got the blue on my brush, picking up just a little bit of black, and I'm just pushing it in one spot a couple times to help blend that color. And then I'm going to just scoot my brush down you know, a half inch or so. I'm gonna give it a bit of a rim there, okay? All right, I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna fill in the center with a light gray, just so it's not too hard to cover it when they come back and add the hand prints. I don't want that to be black or it'd be really hard to see those little prints. All right. So to, I can pick up a gray color or I'm just, for me, gonna just mix them. So I've already got the black on my plate. I'm just gonna pick up a little black with my brush Mix it with some white until I get a gray that I like. Maybe a little more. And I'm just gonna fill in this section with gray. It doesn't matter if it's exactly the same shade throughout. I mixed it as I went. And if I needed to pick up more and it was a little different, it wouldn't really matter. I'm going to shade a little bit inside the center of the pot too. Got the gray on my brush, picking a little bit of the black. Again, just picking a spot <laughs> on my plate, pushing it down to help spread that color out. And then I'm just going to lightly lay down that black next to my blue edge here. And if it's too wet, I might need to let it dry just a touch. Otherwise, I'm just going to blend into nothingness. That's okay. Uh, remember I said I forgot the little caps? Like this one has the little caps of the red ones right at the, where it meets those black legs. So I'm just gonna use that smaller brush I used and the blue. And we'll just give them some little caps here. Just a little beyond. That's gonna need more than one coat. That's okay. When you're working with acrylic paint and it starts to lift a little bit, I don't know if you can tell a little bit here, it just means I did it while it was still too wet. So I just need to let that dry a touch. And then if I let it dry a little bit more and go back, I'll be able to cover it better with another coat. Clean up my edge here a little tiny bit. Same here up that black let that dry being a little impatient I'm going to take a little bit of brown I'm just going to dry brush a little brown underneath it. Oops. 
doesn't really matter which brown I use. I'm gonna take a dampened brush, a little brown, just a little bit. I'm just gonna, just so he's not sitting out in midair. air. Trying not to go down too far because I have lettering to put down on the bottom here. Cool beans. What do you think? I think this can be a cute little grill tray for daddy or papa. Hi, Nancy. Nice to see you. Well, I don't see you, but you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, um, this is still a little wet. So I don't want to try to add another coat until it dries, or I can reach across my table and just hit it with a blow dryer. paint to know if it's dry or not if you go to touch it and it feels cool it is still wet what I'm gonna do while that is still a little damp in the middle is I'm just gonna come in and get rid of any extra lines I have like I said I did these as lightly as I could but I don't want to have any of them showing up where I don't have paint so I, I like to clean up as I go I'm just using a good artist eraser and should have I smeared a little bit, I can always come back with my base color and clean it up that way too, like I just did there. That was not good. So, a little moisture on my Q-tip, clean that up. We're gonna stay away from that spot because it's still very wet. All right. I'm being impatient. I shouldn't be impatient. Let's let that dry for a second. So this needs to say Papa's Grill Tray. So I'm just gonna write it out. Papa's Grill Tray. And then what I do is I go and I count the letters. So there's one, or letters and spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So half of 17, right in the middle would be 8, right? Right. So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, my G is going to be right in the middle. And so all I did when I did these lettering was I just started there. So this is my G. And I just sketch this on very lightly. You could use a stencil for this lettering. I did not. I just uh, penciled it on and then came back and just used a brush. A, P, and doing backwards is not always easy for me, but hey. Papa's Grill Tray, and down below, this one says Love Emma 2021. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the middle of that would be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's one of the M's. So I'll do an M first, M. My puppies are barking. Such critters, such critters. And 
then I just kind of eyeball it to make sure it looks about right. And I'll come back and do the lettering with a um, either a liner brush or a round, depending on how thick I want my letters. I could do it with a flat brush, and that would give me more of a, like a calligraphy look. Um, but probably not what I'm going to do with this one. All right. I think we're dry enough to give us another coat of blue where it's a little sketchy. So I'm getting a little more paint. Oh my goodness, it's almost nine o'clock. It is almost past my bedtime, ladies. I am taking a course right now and it's taking up a ton of my daytime. <laughs> I'm not really good when I feel behind, <laughs> but it'll be a great addition for what I do for my membership. So I'm just trying to be patient with it all. Okay, so I added a second coat there. I'm gonna add another coat to my caps around my legs. Have the blue on my brush, picking up a little bit of black paint, pushing it in one spot, because I'm gonna want to come underneath here and to define it a little more. I think I'm actually going to want to come around the bottom of my grill too. Just kind of help give it some more definition without outlining it. I'm not a big fan of outlining everything. I think using this softened color on the edge just is a little softer than just a straight line. Come back with my gray color that I had. It's about gone. I'll just mix up a little more. So I have a gray. I'm going to pick up black again, corner my brush, find a spot to push it down. This way I can add some the darker color. And I wanted this to look kind of like the inside of the kettle. And I'm going to pretend that it's a fairly new kettle so that it can actually still see the, uh, <laughs> the metal part. So I'm going to finish my little Float here. I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to pick up just a little bit of silver metallic paint. This is a Deco Art Dazzling Metallic. Oops. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I'm just going to brush in a little bit of the metallic. Not something you're going to be able to see much there, but it does. Just give it a little bit of a glimmer. All right, setting this down. I've put down my letters, so I'm going to take a round brush, I believe. This is a a three. It says it's a three round. It's probably more like a thick liner, but it's short, but I can have some control with it. And I'm going to want to make my letters so they have a little bit of angle to them, so they're not just straight up and down. So I'm going to make them a little more handwriting-ish. So I'm going to put down my P, make sure I don't have too much water in my brush. I just threw my brush on the floor. Better on the floor than on my piece. If brush lettering scares you or you just aren't happy with how it turns out for you, it is perfectly okay to use a pen. 
use a paint pen for something like this. And then just make it a habit to practice things that you are a little challenged with. So taking a mixed media pad and just using a brush and practicing your lettering. Do it while you're sitting and watching a TV program or something so it doesn't seem like it's work. See, I'm just giving these just a little curve so they just don't look super simple. I mean, they are simple, but they have a little more of a handwriting look to them. It also allows me to not have to have them be perfect. I dip into my brush paint often. So we have Papa's grill tray. I'm gonna come down here. And I chose, this is completely up to you, I did my, t my top letters all in capitals and then I chose to do the lower ones in smalls and capitals. I painted the base of this, the base coat, with Fusion Picket Fence. Um, and then because I used that, I will finish this with Fusion Tough Coat. It's a great, great finish um, alternative to varnish. And um, it really, really holds up well and it doesn't yellow. And that's a really, really important thing, especially when you're doing something with white. I'm almost done with my lettering. Have the date. Okay. So, Daddy's grill tray. This one is going to be Papa's grill tray. And all it's going to need is some flames. And the way I had them do the flames for this was to take a paintbrush and use red paint and just paint it the palm of the hand and set it down. Of course, the little girl's hand is much cuter than my, my big hand. But do the red first. And then while there's still paint on the hand, go ahead and put orange on and layer the orange on top. And then the yellow on top of that. And that way you have the variation of the flame colors. And as I said, it's a, it's a, a whole lot cuter with a little person's hand than with my big hand. Cute, cute piece. Um, when this is good and dry, like tomorrow, I will, ta-da, hi guys. I will go ahead and erase the rest of my lines um, so I don't have those extra pencil lines everywhere. And uh, it's really pretty a quick, a pretty quick simple tray. So it took us a little more than a half hour and I probably could have done it a little quicker than that. Thank you, thank you so, so much for, for watching. We really appreciate it. We love it when you like our videos. We appreciate when you share them and certainly love it when you follow our page. It helps us so much. And um, 
hopefully tomorrow's not gonna be quite so chaotic so I can come on and show you some flowers because I have a challenge coming up next week with some daisies and some roses and I just want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek and see if maybe you want to join me for a challenge all right have a great great evening and uh, I think it's time to finish my flamingo glass of wine and <laughs> head to bed take care everyone okay and we'll see how quickly I can find the finish button today take care bye bye